Person to Person, Third Edition, Student Book One, by Jack C. Richards, David Bicena, and Ingrid Visniewska. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2005. Unit Seven, Conversation One. Could you help me? Can I help you? Yes, please. We are looking for men's shirts. They are right over there by the escalator. Here we are. Look at this one. The color is perfect for you. Hmm, I like it too. How much is it? It's on sale for nineteen ninety-eight. That's a good price, but I think they only have it in large. Well, why don't we ask someone? Excuse me, could you help us? Sure. What can I do for you? Does this shirt come in medium? Yes, it does. Let's see. Here's a medium. Great. I'll take it. Will that be cash or credit? Conversation two. This sweater is more stylish. Excuse me. Could you help me? I'd like to exchange this sweater. What's the problem with it? My boyfriend bought this for me, but I don't like it. It's too old-fashioned. I want something more stylish. I see. Well, why don't you look around? These two sweaters are nice. Why don't you try them on? Okay. Which one do you like better? This gray sweater is cute. This kind of collar is very fashionable now. Really? I kind of like the black one. It's longer and looser, so I think it'll be more comfortable. Yes, but the gray one really suits you. It's more stylish than the black one. The gray one is a better quality, and it's the same price as the one you're exchanging. You've talked me into it. I'll take this one instead. No problem. I'll switch them for you. Unit Eight, Conversation One, and what would you like? Everything looks good. What are you going to have, Akimi? I think I'll have pancakes and a cup of tea. How about you? What are you having? Pancakes sound good, but I feel like having scrambled eggs. I guess we're ready to order. Excuse me. Good morning. Have you decided yet? Yes, I'll have pancakes and a cup of tea. What kind of pancakes would you like? We have blueberry, apple, or buttermilk. Apple, please. What kind of juice would you like? Tomato juice, please. Okay. And what would you like, sir? I'd like scrambled eggs, with apple juice, please. Would you like bacon or toast with that? Toast, please. Any tea or coffee? Coffee for me. Thank you. I'll be right back with your drinks. Thank you. Conversation two. Would you care for any dessert? Okay, so that's two chicken burritos and one order of nacho chips with spicy salsa. Could you tell me what gazpacho is, please? Sure. It's a spicy soup served cold. It's made from tomatoes and vegetables. Mmm, that sounds good. I'll have one of those, please. Would you like something to drink with that? Do you have any iced tea? I'm sorry, we don't. We have lemonade or soda. I'll have lemonade then. Make it two. Would you like to order a dessert now? No, thank you. We'll wait until later. You know they have fantastic flan here. They do. Well, maybe we could split one. We'll have one flan, please. Would you like me to bring two spoons? Yes, please. That's a good idea. Unit nine, conversation one. Could I borrow that? What's the matter, Sunya? 
Can you believe this? I need to buy a birthday gift for my mother after class today, and I left my credit card at home. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Could you lend me some money? How much do you need? Oh, about thirty dollars. I don't have that much on me right now. Oh well, do you think I could borrow your cell phone? I'll call my sister and ask her to get my credit card and meet me at the store. Sure, that's no problem. Just don't talk forever, okay? Don't worry. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Conversation two. Could you change my room? Excuse me. Yes. What can I do for you? I just checked in, and there's a problem with my room. What's the problem? I asked for a non-smoking dorm room, but people are smoking in there. I can't stand it. Could you change my room, please? Let me see. I'm sorry. We don't have any non-smoking dorm rooms available. If you like, you could stay in a private room until we have a non-smoking available. It costs a bit more. Yes, that'll be fine. Okay. Here's your new room key. I'll let you know as soon as we have a bed in a non-smoking dorm room. Thanks for your help.